Hey, how you doing? Uh, if you're watching this tomorrow, Saturday, uh, it's tonight, which is yesterday, if you're watching it for me tomorrow. Does that make sense? I want to show you what we've been doing in the shop. Come along. Ah, uh, nothing like a Friday night in busy downtown, now then, Minnesota. <laughs> oh, let's go see what we got going on in the shop here. Oh, as some of you can see, this is a change. Hear that echo? Echo! Well, it's maybe just annoying audio on YouTube, but uh, uh, we've definitely been hard at work here. We got the old, uh, got the old scaffold in the shop. A lot, lot more room, right? A lot more room. Got uh, picked up some speakers here because. Uh, JD and I like to listen to music while we work, and uh, well, we got a bigger space, so we need bigger speakers, right? Why not? Uh, uh, and and speaking of JD, he's down in Arizona having a great time doing a couple installs there. Uh, so <clears throat> he's kind of taking it easy, but uh, if you're around the area and you need something, uh, let me know. Fill out a form on our website, and we will send it over to him, and uh, he can help you out in Quartzsite, Arizona. But uh, so back to what we're doing here. We are setting up shop here a little bit. Uh, I've been uh, doing a video here, which may come out before this video or after that video. But uh, if you watch it, I, I couldn't find my uh, my tripod, so I'm using an old speaker stand uh, clamp to a chair, and uh, I used another clamp to clamp my phone to it to record it. So uh, bear with me. Uh, we've been screwing around with some lead time batteries here. We're charging them up. <clears throat> Gonna do something there, so definitely check that out. Got, uh, stuff all over. Got a car up on the lift here, as you can see. This is, uh, my son's car. My oldest boy's, he, uh... Well, m might be a little too much information, but, uh... When the roads get slippery out here in Minnesota, uh, sometimes they end up in the ditch. So, that's what happened here. <laughs> And uh, so we're going to be working on that. We got some new parts here. So it's a good thing we got these lifts, and I only took out one of them. As uh, some of you know from our other video, there used to be another lift here, but I sold that off. And I want to keep this one, but I want to put it in the back shop, back over there. And we will show that here in a moment. Um, all of our solar stuff is still here in boxes. Got some panels. Got uh, Got some of our wire here. All this stuff, we got a lot to do, but we do have some projects lining up. And we even got some outside as we speak. Uh, but step one was getting all of our personal stuff out of here and into the house. And my wife, Jen, is worry, is uh, dealing with <laughs> repercussions of that. Don't worry, I've been helping. I'm a good husband. So, uh, and of course, I got my hockey stuff here because some of you know I, I do play the hockey. Let's see what's going on here in the back. If you recall in some of our previous videos, or the previous video, this was full of stuff. It's still full of stuff, but I uh, put up some shelving over here. Got more of that taken care of. Uh, I'm starting to work on some shelving up there, and I think I'm gonna run that all the way across. Our plan is, this is gonna be where we're gonna put that lift over here and uh, let the boys and myself, you know, if we gotta work on our cars or whatever, we can do that here. This is gonna be wood shop, which for the most part, believe it or not, we do do a bit of carpentry on the work that we do on your RVs. So we gotta have a wood shop. So that's gonna be here. And uh, obviously we got a lot of work that needs to happen here still, but we're finally getting some room on the floor before it was literally no room to do anything. And I still kind of feel that way. It's crazy how much room we have. This is 30 by 30, and it still just feels full. Uh, we had about a 27 by 24 garage before, and all of this stuff was in there, plus some of the stuff that was in the other garage. Crazy to think about. And now this is 47 by 30, and I got that full of stuff too. Who, who got all this stuff? I don't even know. So, um, 
Some other stuff that's going on, or my plans rather, is this is gonna have to come down, or part of it anyway, because it's 47 feet long, front to back, and I, some of you guys with those 45 foot fifth wheels, or maybe even 45 foot coaches, I wanna get you in here. I wanna do work for you. So that means I'm gonna need all of it. So my plan is, or my thought is, I'm gonna build, maybe keep part of this, and build a uh, mezzanine, mezzanine level all the way across here, or most of the way across on this side. It may cook on the top because of that radiant heater up there, I don't know. Uh, first time shop owner. So, like everything, I learned the hard way. Uh, but we are gonna give that a try. I've thought about on this side as well, but uh, I'm thinking against that because I'm thinking sometimes we might have to cheat a little bit and come in at an angle a little bit. So I'd like to leave that open. Uh, my plan is to store a lot of the solar panel stuff up on that second level. And that way we can just take those from there and put them right on the roof. And that should work out great. And then we don't even really need this quite so much. Still maybe a little bit to provide like a, a walkway from the mezzanine level to the RV, but we'll see. Um, been spending some money at uh, Harbor Freight here. Been getting a couple of these. One of these I want in the auto shop side over there and one of them I'm gonna keep over here because we do gotta turn some bolts and uh, use some wrenches and stuff. So <clears throat> that's been fun. Doing my part to try and keep this economy going. But uh, yeah, we pretty much bet it all on this, so I hope this works out. Definitely subscribe if you wanna see if this actually works out or not for us. Let's take a look out back here real quick. Ah, this is a little bit of a familiar sight. We've got uh, the solar shop trailer. Of course, I got the, uh, the uh, workbench out of there. To tell you the truth, I really liked working in here. Let me turn this light on here a little bit. Actually, I really liked working in here because of how close everything was. Everything I needed was just right where I needed it. And I'm taking some of those lessons and I'm hoping to incorporate those in there. Now, I'm, I'm not planning on keeping my golf shoes in the shop inside, but this is just left over from when we moved. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but no, seriously, uh, I really learned a lot by working in here and I'm going to try and incorporate some of that stuff into the shop inside. Uh, we got a ton of plywood cause we're hoping to build more, more shelves, more workbenches, more whatever. We've got, uh, we still got the bus, still got the bus here. And, uh, if you look way off in the distance here, uh, yeah, there we go. That is our first customer who we're gonna actually do some work on. And we've got all this land now out here. We've got five acres back here. We can park a lot of stuff and that's what I'm really excited about is we're able to actually let people drop stuff off and then we can work on it. Or before at our other place, we had to pretty much schedule people in and out same day. Literally, sometimes people were leaving then within an hour, half hour, new people were coming and it was stressing me out. I'm sure it was stressing the customers out. Uh, my neighbors didn't like it. That's one of the reasons why we had to move. So i um, really excited for what we got going on here. So that's kind of an update on what we got going on. Um, hopefully uh, we can share a little bit about what we're doing with that uh, leisure travel van uh, in the future. We've got a couple other projects coming up. So thank you for following along on our journey. Um, we love you, appreciate you. We couldn't be doing this without you. Um, we are, we really believe in this step that we're taking. And uh, if you're interested in getting solar on, on your RV and you wanna come out to Minnesota, um, we've got plenty of room for you to boondock while you wait, uh, whatever, pretty much whenever now we can do it. Uh, check us out at our website down below, sodasolar.com. Spelled like that, S-O-T-A-S-O-L-A-R. I know that R is missing there, but that's because we've been hard at work. That R fell off. If you've got any ideas on other videos you'd like to see, I've got some ideas. Uh, I've been teasing about killing this uh, lead time battery by trying to charge it in the cold. Be looking for that video. 
Uh, but if you got any other ideas, feel free to share them below. Um, this winter, we're going to be a little bit slower, so I'm hoping to do more videos and experiments. Uh, so anyway, until next time, we will see you later.